how to configure Apache HTTP server as a reverse proxy for Jenkins. There are a few reasons why you might want to use a reverse proxy with Jenkins. One of those reasons is you want to offload SSL termination to a proxy server. Another reason is you might want to have a single proxy server that lives out in front of numerous Jenkins controllers. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the Apache HTTP server as a reverse proxy for Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.1. I've also set up a DNS entry for the domain jenkins.example.com. So let's go ahead and go into our console and install the Apache HTTP server. So I'm going to say dnf y install httpd. Now, depending on your Linux distribution, the name of this package may be different. But for Alma Linux, which is what I'm using, the package name is httpd. We'll hit Enter, and now the installation is complete. Let's go ahead and check the status of httpd. So we'll say systemctl full status httpd. We can see the service is set up, but it's currently not running. So let's go ahead and start the service, systemctl start httpd. Let's run the status check again. We can see that it's running and appears to be listening on port 80. So let's go ahead and go over to our browser and let's refresh the jenkins.example.com page. Now, we installed the Apache server on the same machine as where our Jenkins controller is running. So the IP address for Jenkins is the same as the IP address for jenkins.example.com. So we re refresh this page and we see the default Apache HTTP server page for Alma Linux. Now, fortunately, we don't have to start from scratch in building our configuration for this reverse proxy. When you go out to Jenkins.io and search the documentation, you're going to find a page named reverse proxy Apache, and you are given a few different options of how to set this up. For this video, we're going to be taking a look at the mod proxy configuration. You could choose to follow the other configurations depending on your certain scenario. But for my example, mod proxy is fine. So what we're going to be First, making sure is that we've got proxy, proxy HTTP, and headers all installed. Now, for Alma Linux and for any of the Fedora-based installations, all of those come installed by default. So to set up our proxy configuration, we're going to copy this and make some changes to this configuration. This configuration assumes that Jenkins is running in a subdirectory called slash Jenkins. But in our case, Jenkins is running at the root of the server. So no slash Jenkins as defined here. So in order to set up this configuration file, we're going to go back into our console and we're going to cd to etsy httpd conf.d. And we're going to create in this folder a jenkins.conf file. And inside of this, we're going to be putting in our variation of what we just saw with proxy pass. Now, unlike what we see in the documentation, we can see we see a slash Jenkins here. Here we have just localhost 8080 slash. Now in the documentation is showing 8081. Well, that's also assuming if you go ahead and read some more of the documentation, it assumes that Jenkins is running on 8081. But in our case, Jenkins is running on 8080. So we've gone ahead and shortened up and removed the slash Jenkins off the end of this URL. Notice that we also have a trailing slash. When running on a dedicated server and you're using slash as context, make sure you add a slash at the end of all URLs in your proxy params. So if we were to leave off this trailing slash for these proxy params, then this would not work. So I have a proxy pass slash that's proxying to localhost 8080 slash. We also have a proxy pass reverse, again, same with a trailing slash. I also had to make this one other change because if we take a look at the example, we have a proxy HTTP localhost 8081 Jenkins star. In my case, I have a proxy HTTP localhost 8080 slash star. So let's go ahead and save this file and let's restart our HTTP process. Let's go ahead and verify our status one more time. So we'll say status. We can see that it's loaded and running and everything looks successful. Let's go back up to our test page where we saw the default Apache HTTP server page. Let's refresh this page. And now we're getting a service unavailable. Now, the reason for this is that Alma Linux has SE Linux running on it. So if your system has SE Linux running on it, you need to make a configuration change to SE Linux. So we'll go back over to our console. We'll quit out of the status, type clear, and we're going to run the command set se bool 
dash p httpd can network connect to true. We'll hit enter. It'll take a few seconds for this to apply. And then once it has completed, we'll go back over to our browser, refresh the page. We'll see the login screen. We'll type in our username and password and everything looks okay, but there's actually one more change that we should make. We'll go to Manage Jenkins, and at the top of the Manage Jenkins page, we're going to see it appears that your reverse proxy setup is broken. The reason why that is, is the domain name that we're specifying right now, which is jenkins.example.com, is not the defined system URL for this Jenkins controller. So we'll go to Configure System, and we'll scroll down to the section that's named Jenkins Location, and the Jenkins URL, we're going to replace Jenkins colon 8080, with our HTTP colon slash slash jenkins.example.com with the trailing slash. Let's go ahead and click on save. It's gonna take us back up to the top dashboard. We'll click on manage Jenkins one more time and we'll notice that that reverse proxy error is now gone. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.